Okay, talking about ultra clean technologies today. Actually, ultra clean holdings, my mistake. Uh, UCTT. Um, a really, really interesting little company. Uh, goes along the lines of Applied Materials, um, KLA Corporation, LAM Research, in that kind of space. Uh, a little bit smaller. Um, supplies clean room technology to build semiconductors so plays into 5g plays into the shortage you're hearing about if you're uh, watching the news at all some of the uh, car manufacturers had to had to have a, a shutdown due to lack of chips uh, they actually called it a halt in production which uh, was stunning to me that uh, car manufacturers could actually halt their production based on lack of uh, supply of of chips like uh, you know you think you could just keep building uh, and when the chips come in you know put them in and but they actually had this halt so it's a big deal uh, and the Biden administration even said okay we have to address this um, I mean there's no definitive plan or anything but at least they recognized it and um, it's a big deal okay now the next thing is uh, ultra clean uh, put out their uh, quarterly report this morning it was actually pretty good and the market uh, sold it off anyways L well let's let me get address that in a second but let's just talk about the numbers first and uh, we have let's see revenue was up 29 percent seemed pretty good uh, although that was only a beat by a little over one percent so not huge there uh, earnings per share were up a ton uh, 145 but uh, you know earnings are always kind of funny there's it could have been a, a one-time thing in the in the last year's number uh, I think the more important thing is it beat uh, the earnings expectation 81 cents they posted versus 71 expectations so all in all you'd go hey that's a good report stock should probably be up uh, why is it not up um, and there's really not a great explanation right now that I can see um, I would say, you know, first of all, the NASDAQ was down quite a bit today. So general market, uh, not a good day for tech. Um, there's, you know, there could be a little bit of a sell on the news kind of uh, attitude uh, that happens. I don't put much stock. Like you hear a lot of cliches. Oh, everything was baked in, sell on the news, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I, I don't really care about that other than... It does kind of make you go, okay, if, if some people want to play that that kind of game, I let them play that, and I just take what's in front of me, and I see a great company and an opportunity to buy it. That's that's my attitude is you got to go, hey, this thing's down. It posted a great quarter. I liked it anyways. It, you know, Even if this thing had been up on this quarter, I'd still be uh, out here. Uh, so to me, all this is is an opportunity. And you, know, you can take your side. You can you can go. <laughs> oh, it's price dance. This that and the other thing. You don't really know that. I don't believe. It, it, go by what you think. Do you think this is an undervalued opportunity? Um, and I do. And I've got you know my tools that help me. And uh, you know you can do your ways, or you can uh, obviously follow along what we're going to talk about. And while I'm doing that, let's jump right in to our our model. Um, and let's show the screen here. Here we go. Okay, so um, we have a, an interesting history here. You know, some great days way back in the early 2000s. Uh, Peter out in 2008, 2009, pretty rough period. Uh, came out of it not bad. Had some okay years. Uh, really starting to go now. And you can see this this last little bit, the, the blue is the trailing four quarters, 18% return on invested capital. you got to love that. And that doesn't even include today's quarter because, uh, you know, literally just came out. Our data will get it in a couple of days. Um, but the return on capital is improving. And we know, you've heard me say this a million times, we know stocks are correlated with improving return on invested capital. You can kind of even see it right here with this stock, uh, you know, 29% return here in this, what, three years ago. The stock was at a peak. And then they did didn't last kind of petered out it still only went down to 11 which isn't terrible but it is lower than 29 and now we're creeping back up and i'm quite sure based on the press release that when we get the data it's going to be higher than 18 percent okay 
And valuation, uh, I tweaked a little bit of the forecast, but you can see it's still you know, within range of what they've been doing. I think it makes sense. I don't think this is overly aggressive um, forecast, and that w warrants a $66 value trading at 47 Okay, I want to look one more thing, one more step before we close this out is the financial statements themselves. And as I said, it will not include today's quarter. Um, but I think it can maybe talk to why it's down a little bit. Um, in uh, September last year, it was 8.6% uh, revenue growth, then 11.3, and 23, then 29. And then September this year, 42% growth. Now, I do think there was a, an acquisition in there. But, I, you know, if you're, if you're sailing along like this and you hit the 42% mark, you know, a lot of people are just, you know, even the bots and the, and who knows exactly why. Uh, and then it comes in at 29, which is, you know, when this next quarter will come in, it'll be 29% growth in revenue versus the same quarter the previous year. And maybe 42 versus 29 is a, a reason for other people to sell. It's not a reason for me. I still think 29% growth is good. Um, you know, I don't know what someone else's algorithm says or anything that like that. But you got to try and figure out what's the explanation. Is it something that, that worries you or something that presents an opportunity? In my estimation, this just presents an opportunity. Good company, good quarter, shares are down. What else can you ask for? Thanks for watching our investment video. If you want to improve your portfolio returns, simply subscribe. Or if you're an investment advisor or a retail investor and you want help with your portfolio more directly, we can help you with a managed account and manage each and every trade for you.